Hey, state of Michigan, I have a question for you about my cousin, you know, Sean Northrup, and my son, Alvin Hennington. You're going to take, you know, my, my, my cousin, Sean, because he saw you guys coming for him, and, you know, it's kind of known throughout our family that DHS here in Cass County in the state of Michigan picks on our family. You think we don't got that? He saw it coming with you guys, so he took the he left the state with his kids. You guys took it upon yourselves to go get a court order after he left the state. After. And pursue him to another state to go take his kids and return them to Michigan. You did not have consent to leave the state where he was with those children. He still had his rights. The kids had not been removed from his care yet, so you had no legal right to do that. Imagine that. Now you go with my son. You guys paid for him, who was a military dependent, a federal military dependent. You bought him and two other people a ticket to go to Oklahoma. And then we had to beg, borrow, and steal to get my son back home. Never mind that neither my son nor his uh, legal daughter, Rose, were allowed to leave the state. They didn't have consent to go anywhere. They belonged to the military. And Alvin had his ID card to prove it. It was active at the time. So I would like for you guys to explain why you haven't returned Rose either. Because you can go out of state to go get kids you're not supposed to get. But you can't go out of state to go get the ones that you're supposed to get? That's a violation of my son's 14th Amendment rights. Equal treatment under the law? Hmm. Victim Choice and Accountability Act? I love the Constitution. Looks like you guys violated. Have a blessed day.